How you doing guys? I'm Busy and welcome back to CSGO. So you guys voted on Twitter for me to play this game again. And I actually had kind of forgotten about it. I knew I wanted to do a series on it, but with all the other games and the channel changes, it never happened. So this game never came back. But because I know you guys want this game now, because it was like, it, it dominated the votes. There was like Subnautica, Castle Crashers, CSGO, and then any other game you guys wanted. And I thought you guys were going to assess like a bunch of weird games. Instead, you just like, play CSGO, play CSGO. So I'm like, all right, I'm playing CSGO. So we're going to go in. I haven't played since the last episode. Like I played maybe one game with my friend Warrior Dan, who I'm going to be planning to work with on the series in the future, but I haven't played since then. So I have no doubt in my mind that I'm doing badly. I'm going to do badly, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do semi-decently. Uh, quick thing, I'm using a controller, not a mouse and keyboard, because I figure if I'm going to do badly... I might as well do badly because I'm just bad, rather than because the controller is screwing with me. So, I know I'm bad at this game. That's a fact. That's not like a statement. That's, a fa that's like a real fact. I'm just bad. But, I can do slightly better if I'm holding a controller. So, I know I played Deathmatch last time because I really like how fast-paced Deathmatch is. But, maybe we should try something different like Arms Race. And I kind of want to do Arms Race, so we're going to try it. Now... Maybe I shouldn't do it. I get the point. I'm ignoring the point because what fun is a video without some messing up? You know, let's see how it goes. Also, feel free to leave me any tips about CSGO you have. If you're like a pro CSGO player, like you're, you're top tier and you find this video and I offend you, help a brother out. You know, help me. Help me out because I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So I'll be back once we found an actual game. Okay, we are back in with some gameplay. So, alright. I honestly... Oh, this map looks terrible. This map looks terrible. Oh, yeah, that was expected. Like I said, I'm going to try to do decently, but most likely what's going to happen is I'm going to start telling you guys stories. I'm going to forget my promise to try and do semi-decent. I almost could have gotten a kill there. I'm almost certain I could have gotten a kill there. Uh, he's in our spawn. Why is there no spawn protection? Ugh. Why? Why does this have to happen? Is this is this why I, I shouldn't have played Arm Race? Is there any mode I can actually play? I wanna I wanna ask. Is there actually a game mode that um people who want to enjoy the game can play? Or is that not a thing? Do CS:GO players just you know play for fury? Is that what they do? Are they like people who are driven by madness and hate uh, who play this game? Because I would certainly believe it. I would certainly not be surprised. If you told me people who were mad and crazy and only angry played this, because that's the only emotion I feel, I got sniped. I got sniped. You know what? Should we go to the story time right now? Um, I'm trying to think of any good stories. Did, what? Did? Huh? Wait a minute. He didn't even start shooting me yet, and he still killed me. I'm lost. Like I had, I had been shooting him before he even knew where I was. Not really, but. Did I get a kill? Did I just get a kill? No, I didn't get a kill, actually. <laughs> I thought I got a kill. Is it really this hard for me to just get, you know, one... Did, did I do something? Did, did, did I actually kill something? Did I kill my target? I was... Oh my god, I hate this game. So yeah, we're gonna move to the story. So, um, I actually don't have an interesting story. I have some things I want to talk about. For one, Steam is really weird. So, okay. You know how Steam will recommend you games, right? So Steam will like look at the games you've played recently and be like, you know what, you should really play this game. I think you're really gonna like it. And normally I'm okay with that because Steam will recommend some really interesting titles like Subnautica. But why, like, why is Steam recommending I play weird like graphic novel games that are basically porn? Like, I'm not even joking. Like they literally just look like, and I know you might be like, well, you played Honey Pop in the future. Okay, so then why is the game that caused it to recommend it like, a game where I shit on people. So like, if you follow me on Twitter, I recently posted a tweet. It's like, you know, why, why um, recommend this game to me? Twitter, if all I do is, you know, play a poop game. And it was basically what looked like hentai games. And you know, I'm not opposed to that kind of thing. I mean, it's very pretty to look at. But like, why is that the recommendation? You know, like Steam, help me, help me out here. What's going on? So I was really lost. And um. It was weird, but you know, it was, it was, I could deal with it until Twitter started doing it. So now Twitter, this, uh, right after I got home from school, before I started recording this, recommended I follow, uh, a whole bunch of, uh, porn stars. So, 
like, and again, I, I don't know how Twitter bases it off who I follow, because obviously, like any male, I go into incognito, so I'm like, how do you even know what I do in my spare time? But why, like, why is this to listen? So now I start to question who I follow, so I'm, like, kind of looking through my followers, like, well, I guess they could be an adult actress or actor, maybe in their side life, and Twitter knows that, and it's like, you know what? Follow, you follow this one guy, so now you're going to follow every one of them. And, you know, I mean cool, I guess, and did I get killed by a teammate or whatever? I'm too focused on my uh, weird story. Um, I'm very lost because I'm just like, if I follow one, how? How did it happen? Because like, I mean, I'm not going to be that obvious. I'm not, not going to like let people know what I do in my spare time, even though they could guess. Um, it's not all Nap and Zeus does in his spare time. No, not really. Uh, actually, I, I'm just confused to where they come from. Like, why is that the weird recommended person I follow? And, like, this actually sparked a question between, like, my friend, uh, who, like, kind of made, like, a statement earlier, like, in the day. When I told him about the weird things, like, Steam has me try to follow, because recently I mentioned that Steam tried to have me follow a furry account. And, um, he was like, what would you do? If you got followed by like an like an adult actor or something, and I was like, like, and they want to chat with you, and I'm like, I I don't know. I mean, like, I guess it depends on who it is, obviously. Um, and really, I guess the whole kind of situation turned into like, would you be weirded out? And my thing is like, no, because obviously they're following me. I'm doing gaming things, so I'm like, I guess if it's an actor who just really likes games and likes what I do, then um, sure. I mean. That's cool, and this game ended. <laughs> this game ended, I, I was kind of not paying attention. Um, how did I do? I, I killed 11 people, and I died 17 times, which is a lot better than what I did the first time I played, which is really cool. Uh, I want to I wanna continue my story, though, but where should we go? Should we go Monastery? I guess everyone want to go Safe House. So safe House it is. We're going to Safe House, just to kind of speed things along. But uh, continuing with the story... Yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind too much. Like, would you guys mind, like, I guess you're a gamer or a vlogger or a beauty channel or whatever, and then you see on your Twitter or your Facebook, you get, like, a message from a very adult member of the community, and um, you you kind of, like, you, you take a step back and you kind of look at what's going on, and you're like, do I follow you back or do I not? And I guess I'd follow them back and, like, and be like, why the hell do you follow me? Just to see if they answer. If they answer, awesome. If they don't answer, then... I guess not. Uh, should we... Let's do terrorists. I think we joined counter-terrorists last time, so... We're gonna do terrorists this time, because, you know... I'm a terrorist! Oh, shit. That didn't work. That, uh... Are we in the pre-match, or... Oh, yeah, this is the warm-up. Okay, I was like, why are they spawning so close to us? So, match starting in... One, match starting! So, we're starting off with the P90, which is always a wonderful, wonderful weapon to start off with. I'm not using uh, mouse and keyboard game, so space isn't going to do me much good. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, no. He's going to come through the window. Oh, God. No, he's found me. He's found me. He murdered me. He murdered me good. Yeah, I don't know. That was just my weird, like, um, porn story thing. It's not really a story. It's more so a question concerned with um, why Twitter and Steam assume that I'm the most lewd person ever. Because I'm not. I'm really not. Like... I mean, unless you ask, like, my friend Alavast Gaming, who's like, Zeus, why do you keep bringing anime titties into my streams? Uh, because I have to? Like, it's my job now? Oh, are you serious? Um, oh, that was, that's right, a whole nother conversation. I had a question, um, from somebody. Who said, would I, in future, if requested, play any more weird, like, games like, uh, Honey Pop, if asked? And... I kind of, because I, I offered to let people, you know, suggest games in, in the past and in, in, in the future now, said, you know, if you wanted me to play a game badly enough, like, if it got enough traction that you guys, like, really looked into it and you really wanted me to play it, then I said yes. And the answer's still the same, because if you guys really want a game that badly that, you, like, you know, you keep asking, then I'll play it just because, like, I feel like I owe you guys that. However... You know, am I going to play, like, a game that, like, would get me kicked off YouTube? No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to risk that. But, like, you know, I, I'm not opposed to, like, doing random silly games because they're just games. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not really weirded out by it. It's just, like, weird stuff that happens. And I'm like, whatever. You know what? I'll make, I'll laugh. People will tell me I'm weird. And that'll be the end of the discussion. But, like, people think, like, 
I played Honey Pop out of obligation, like, oh, he really didn't enjoy the game. And that's not even true. It was a funny game. Like, it made fun of the classical idea of dating, it, and, you know, it was just a silly game. And um, in keeping with the theme for, I guess, today's video, I didn't have a bad time. It was just a really weird game, and my friends gave me shit about it. Actually, my friends wanted me to finish it. Um, maybe in the future, I'll do, like, a live stream and I'll finish the entire game, but... It was just like a funny experience, and I don't see the reason, you know, why I wouldn't do it again in future. So that's one answered question. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of actually like going through some of the questions that I was going to make commentaries about and just doing them in this video. Uh, one, which I remember I did want to talk about, and I might talk about in a separate commentary, because I don't want to quit commentaries, I just want to do less, is uh, telling your friends about your YouTube channel. Because like, some guy messaged me, he's like, I want to tell them, I just don't know how. And that's actually a really, you know, common thing. So I thought it would actually be really interesting to make a video on that, you know, kind of saying, you know, how do you go about telling the people that you, you, you probably want to watch your videos that you make them? Why can't I kill that guy? He, he somehow managed to beat the living hell out of me. And I'm not really doing well. I'm too focused on my stories. But, um, yeah. How do you, how do you go about that kind of stuff? And that is actually a really valid question. That's actually, um, something that I can see, you know, people wanting to know because it's like how do you tell these people that you go in front of a camera and make random videos and again like if you're like me and you play really weird games from time to time it's like how do you justify that and the real answer is you can't it's just um you, you just have to have fun you really just have to say you know what it's a thing that i do if you don't care about it don't watch it that's it and if, if you want to like break it to them you know you might send them to your channel like anonymously like you might i don't know go out and make a whole new twitter account or whatever and be like hey I'll watch this guy and maybe they'll do it and maybe they'll be like yo i heard a guy that sounds just like you and be like that's me you know you might be able to do that it might be funny um but there's really no good way of doing it i think it's really weird at first and um one thing you should keep in mind is that because they know you in real life they probably aren't gonna like anything you do <laughs> like one thing to keep in mind is that if they know you as a real life person it's unlikely they'll have anything nice to say to you because that's what friends do. They, they just don't have anything nice to say. And uh, why is the game lagging? And that's just a reality. So don't take it too harshly. Don't take their criticism too harshly. Just have a good time with what you do. And that's like really the main thing. So um, that's one thing I really actually did want to cover was uh, how to like tell your friends because a lot of people struggle with that. And I, I don't think it's fair, you know, I'm like, you should be able to have a good time on YouTube and that should include telling your friends, you know, Yo, I posted this funny video, you guys want to watch it or whatever. Uh, or just having people who can, you know, give you feedback. Because they're your friends and they, they'll be honest with you. And that's actually where you get the best criticism is from your friends. Like, uh, when I was playing Thief when I first started my channel, literally one of my friends told me, you know, bro, I support you, but fucking Thief is boring. And I honestly admitted that Thief was boring watching it back. So I changed games. And uh, I had a lot more positive reactions to that. So, you know, don't be afraid to tell them. Uh, if they're the kind of friends you know you're afraid to tell anything to, then, you know, maybe you need to find different friends. I'm just being realistic. Like, my, I, I trust my friends nearly unconditionally. Like, pe there are certain people I trust and I go to for information or opinions, and I'm not afraid to tell them anything. And if you can't tell your friends something, then, you know, maybe you need to find somebody to talk to. Because you should never be afraid to tell your friends something important. So, uh, moving back into the actual point of the video, which was CSGO... I'm still not doing good. I'm on, like, I don't know what weapon I'm on. I actually don't even know how long this game's gonna last, because I don't know who's on, like, knife or whatever, but... You know, we're doing a little bit better than we first did. Uh, burst fire, burst fire. I keep remembering. Someone told me burst fire. Don't move and crouch and burst fire. That helped. That helped a lot. Um, ooh, can I zoom in? This is probably actually not a good idea. Uh, can I... Can I get this? Okay. No. I wish I had grenades. I don't think I have grenades, though. Let me reload. Let me reload. Let me reload. I'm gonna sit in the window. I'm gonna like kind of camp this area. I know I'm camping. I'm camping. I think it's going all crouched and whatnot. Hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to attack you. Oh god. They know I'm here. Oh no. Yeah, someone got a knife. Someone got the gold knife. Oh. Oh. Can I get? Can I get this guy? I was basically. I had a clear shot of his head, and I still somehow failed to kill him. Whatever. All right. So yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I went really quiet because I was kind of focused, and I I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? Like that's literally the only moment I focused in this commentary. Like literally every other time, I've just not been paying attention. Yeah, I didn't win, 
But, you know, I, I mean, I think I did a little bit better than before. I didn't make it anywhere near the top. But, um, I went 12 and 13, which, you know, is better than I can say I've ever done in CSGO in my life. So, I'm gonna leave it here, actually. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna exit to the main menu and say I'm done. Because I am done. So, we got a lot of stuff done. We talked about, you know, weird things. We talked about serious things. And I actually had a good time playing, you know, playing a shooter and just talking. Maybe I'll do that's kind of what CSGO will be, like a real talk kind of funny moments thingy. I don't know what I'll do with CSGO, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely do more CSGO. I plan on working with some people for CSGO, like Warrior Dan, um, and some other people who I want to get in on this. I need to actually speak to them about getting this done, but hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys had a great time with this video, and I hope you guys look forward to more CSGO in the future. Uh, I'll probably run mo more polls on Twitter for games, so check Twitter every once in a while, see if I'm running a poll, and vote. Let me know because your voice matters to me in this channel. So I'll see you guys later. Zeus out.